everybody and welcome to Friday. Today is Friday. I will remember that eventually. Uh, we are back in Mass Effect. Apparently day eight. As I figured out earlier, I was like, oh my god, I've done eight days of this so far. But, uh, we're into Mass Effect 2 at least. Like, <laughs> at least I'm still not on Mass Effect 1. So, where did we leave off last time? We got Garrus and we got, um... Morden, and then I was gonna no do some like planet. planet exploration stuff just off stream, but I never got around to it, so I didn't have any free time. So I'm still just chilling here, not really doing anything. Um, right, I wanted to go to the Citadel more than anything, so I felt like we should go here, <clears throat> do the things. Saeed's mission is over there, as, well, as well as whatever that is, Firewalker. I'm not sure what Firewalker is. Um, Megan's a DLC, Overlord is a DLC. Oh wait, no, not Omega. Um, Overlord is. What's the other one? Uh, it's the Shadow Broker. I don't know where that one is, though. Uh. Okay, either way, uh, let's go for the Citadel. So we got our boys, we got our new boys. Do I need anything? No. Supposedly constructed by the long extinct Protheans, this colossal deep space station serves as the capital of the Citadel Council. Gravity is simulated through rotation and is a comfortable 1.02 standard G's on the wards and a light 0.3 standard G's on the Presidium Ring. Oof, I was hoping to mention something about the, uh, the attack. It's looking pretty weathered. This seems this is the first time I've been in. I love looking at remastered games and seeing scenes they don't bother remastering, like this cutscene. <laughs> Incredibly pixelated. <clears throat> the like, best example of that is if you ever play the HD remake of um, the HD remaster of the Resident Evil 1 remake. Because all the door like animations and stuff are uh, made to look nicer, but um, certain cutscenes aren't, <laughs> and it's so weird. Right, so you've got overload, that's fine. And then you have incinerate, don't you? No? Who had incinerate? I swear someone had incinerate. Did I make that up? Oh, yeah, no, he does have it, sorry. I upgraded it. It's heavy incinerate, isn't it? Okay. Alright, coming in. Uh, I'm going to put my points into that. And I need more points before I can get anything else. So, alright, let's go. Uh, oh, actually, um... Shepard. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. What 
makes you so sure? There's a certain aura about you. Like you've seen things no one else has. Even without knowing what you look like, I knew it was you. Well, thanks, I guess. <laughs> what brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. I assume this deal is something I should know about. Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it, and I'm planning to get it back. What's this heist you're planning? Not here, Shepard. You'll get a briefing when the time comes. I need time to nail down the details anyway. I've taken the liberty of getting you some evening wear, though. You want to look presentable. Okay. What do you know What's about wrong with my Hawk? orange mechanical suit? Mr. Hawk suits? is a well-respected businessman. Arms dealer, murderer, generally not a great guy. His mansion's famous for being hard to crack, More than just but I have a way there. in. And I think you're gonna love it. I doubt Hawk's the kind of guy who takes kindly to people sneaking into his house. I always expect trouble. That's why you're here. I assume a gray box is some kind of hardware. It's a neural implant. Illegal in most places. Stores memories, thoughts, secret codes, illicit information. This one in particular belonged to my partner, Keiji Okuda. We worked together for a long time before Hawk killed him. Changed order. Tell me about this former partner of yours. His name was Keiji Okuda. The best hacker and entry man I've ever known. Unfortunately, he slipped up and made himself infamous. He stole something he shouldn't. He warned me it was bad. Something that could spark interstellar war if it got out. That information... got him killed. What could he have found that's so bad? He wouldn't say what it was, just that it was dangerous. He said if it got out, humanity would be in trouble. He encrypted it, wrapped it up in his own memories. To decode the information, you have to sift through all the time we spent together. Now those memories are all that's left of him. I can understand why you'd want to get it back. Getting it back will be easier with your help, Shepard. That's what Cerberus promised you. We'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. Bye. Travel to Beckenstein. Keepers. Fascinating creatures, genetic constructs adapted to work in Citadel. Couldn't survive outside. Unknown purpose. Wish I could have. This recruits is a 20 kilo ferrous Aww. slug. Feel the weight. Every five Why seconds. Why did you interrupt Morton? Class dreadnought accelerates one to 1.3 percent of light speed. It impacts with the force of a 38 kiloton bomb. That is three times the yield of the city buster dropped on Hiroshima back on Earth. That means. Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. Now, serviceman Burnside, what is Newton's first law? Sir, an object in motion stays in motion, sir. No credit for partial answers, maggot. Sir, unless acted on by an outside force, sir. Damn straight! I dare to assume you ignorant jackasses know that space is empty. Once you fire this hunk of metal, it keeps going till it hits something. That can be a ship, or the planet behind that ship. It might go off into deep space and hit somebody else in 10,000 years. If you imagine being that unlucky, this, you are ruining someone's day somewhere and sometime. That is why you check your damn targets. That is why you wait for the computer to give you a damn firing solution. That is why, serviceman Chung, we do not eyeball it. This is a weapon of mass destruction. You are not are you a cowboy shooting from the hip, <laughs> sir. Yes, sir. This recruits is a 20 kilo oh. power slug. No, it's not again. Every five seconds, no. out of an Empress class dreadnought accelerates one to 1.3% of light speed. It impacts with the force of a 38 kiloton bomb. That is. The Destiny Ascension has completed its 20 colony victory cruise. Council members aboard thanked human alliance soldiers for their efforts in repelling Saren's invasion two years ago. I thought it might be. 
nice to come back here and see how it's changed, but it's just like it was. Same dirty streets, same unrepentant scavengers, same revolving door prisons. Being security here is a terrible job. This is exactly why I left. That's I'm sorry, this sir, guy, then. but I'll need you to remove any biotic amp you might be wearing. What? Why? Unfortunately, sir, biotics can be used as a weapon. The rules require me to confiscate all amps. Could you please hand over yours? I don't have one. I'm not a biotic. Oh. Well, when you objected, I thought... You humans are all racist. Can I help you, ma'am? Racism? It's been a couple years since I passed through here. Security seems to have tightened a bit. After the Geth attack, there What's was a huge security protocol. A few minor changes were made to reduce the risk like of Like, facial features take place in the we apologize middle, for the inconvenience. like, 50% of our You think a Geth base. would stand out? Assumptions are dangerous. Be alert, be safe. Thanks for your time. Next! I like how they're like, you're not allowed in there with any weapons. Biotic scanners weapons. I have a fucking black hole launcher on my back and I'm just like, doo -doo -doo. See you later. Looks like they've tightened up security. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... Uh, dead. I was listed as missing in action a couple years ago. Would you mind checking in with my captain? He can reinstate you in our system. He's just past the scanners on your right. You'll have to make him scream a little. He's not going to tell you everything just because you asked. Yeah, I forgot about I, I Captain know. Bailey. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. Yes, I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. You're not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs, then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. But I can see you're a busy woman. So how about I just press this button right here? And we call it done. Couldn't one of us, or both of us, get into trouble for that? There's no way to fool the DNA scanners in that tunnel. You're you. Why wait in long lines and fill out a mass of useless hard copy paperwork to get to the same place? The Council does everything by the book. They've had thousands of years to write it. Sometimes things need to get done without a committee vote. You're not big on formalities, are you? I'm with them right up until they keep people from doing their jobs. There. I just saved you about nine days of running around. That said, you should head up to the Presidium and tell them you're still alive. The Council probably wants to talk to the one who saved their scaly asses. What's the easiest way to get to the Presidium from down here? Head back through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. I will. Having access to the Council and the Spectre's resources would be useful. Yeah. The Council can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? Oh, that's a lot of stuff. All right. I overheard your conversation. Make him scream a little? This isn't the Presidium. All they have to worry about are protesters outside their free speech zones or someone's poodle crapping on the grass. Down here, we have drugs, organized crime, and murder. Policing a ward is like policing New York City. Sometimes you have to work outside the Council's rulebook. CSEC has changed. It looks like most of the damage from Sovereign's attack has been repaired. The Presidium was pretty shot up. Of course, they fixed that first. All the wards got hit with debris when the ship exploded. Most of the damage was superficial, and the keepers got things restored fast. Tasery Ward got the worst. A big chunk hit near the Dillanaga concert hall. They're still clearing wreckage and trying to get power restored. I need to talk to the Council. 
How can I get Head through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. Tell me about this place. All the wards are more or less multicultural, but the other four are dominated by Asari, Turians, or Salarians. In Zakira, we've got major enclaves of Volus, Elcor, and Hanar. There's also a human commercial zone at Shin Akiba. We've got a few Krogan walking around, and I think I saw a quarry in the other day. Last time I was here, there were no human captains in CSAC. No, CSAC took a lot of casualties when the Geth boarded the Presidium. The Special Response Division was hard hit. They stopped turning their noses up at human resumes. They needed bodies in uniform, and we had the most experienced bodies. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. Q. Ah. Let's get to exploring, shall we? Interrogation room. Access to know. But I wanna. I wanna do some interrogating. All right, come on in, Avina. Welcome back, Shepard. It has been two years, three months, and seventeen days since the Citadel last welcomed you. This is the Zakara Ward Transportation Hub. Public shuttles and shopping are available through the CSEC security cordon. There seem to be a lot more CSEC officers than the last time I was here. In the wake of the Geth attack two years ago, additional security precautions were implemented for the safety and security of residents. In addition to increased CSEC patrols, weapon carry restrictions have been tightened. So has crime decreased? Violent crime has decreased by 23%. Property crime has decreased by 41%. Incident clearance has improved by 16%. I need to talk to the council. How can I reach the Presidium from here? Public I wonder how many people have lost that question. Are on the far side of the CSEC security cordon. It looks like this place has recovered from Sovereign's attack. Repair of the damage from the Geth attack is ongoing. There is still extensive damage on Tasery Ward. Geth? It was Sovereign who led the attack. A Reaper. I have no information on a Reaper. References to the term exist in some parahistorical theories on galactic extinction cycles. Memetic Engineering. Council blames Geth. Lies to cover up Reapers. Keeps public from panicking. What stores are available on this level? Only one store exists on this level. Citadel Souvenirs offers licensed mementos of your visit. Their line of Starship models is well regarded. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Let's go buy Have some model ships. Welcome to Citadel Newsnet. I'm Emily Wong. Officials in the Systems Alliance remain tight-lipped about the recent disaster on the pioneer colony of Freedom's Progress. The human outpost is believed to have been destroyed. Ah, I'll be there. I don't no want survivors on record. So do you want to get one of the fish, or maybe a model ship? Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. Since these stores are owned by the Council, do government employees get a discount? Yes, in fact. Uh, what's your position? I'm a former Spectre. My goodness. I didn't know Spectres quit. I don't believe you qualify for a discount, though. How about if I throw in an endorsement from the woman who defeated Saren? You or Shepard? My goodness, the increase in sales would certainly be worth offering a discount. What do you need me to do? Just voice your endorsement into my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Excellent. I will get my clerical VI to add it to our advertising immediately. Do you mean, like, this one? I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Oh, that's a creepy smile I've ever done. But, uh, <laughs> say it again. Welcome back. These stores are owned by the Citadel, right? That's correct. Citadel souvenirs outlets are owned by the council government. The profits generated by sales are used to maintain the station. We offer an assortment of decorations suitable for display in your personal quarters. I'd like to buy something. My apologies. I do not make sales. I'm here to answer questions and process returns and exchanges. To make a purchase, browse our electronic catalog over there. Mm. Sounds like the worst part of retail. You still need a real live person to do it. These stores are owned by the <laughs> Citadel, right? That's correct. 
Citadel Souvenirs outlets are owned by the council. We offer an assortment of decorations. Thanks for your time. Of course, citizen. Obviously, we're gonna buy the space hamster. This small furry rodent looks up to you with what seems like a knowing smile. Ilium skulled fish. Large spine fish common in the lakes of Ilium. Small model ship of the Systems Alliance ship Normandy SR1. A hamster was so expensive, by the way. It was like eight grand. And like the ships are only like four hundred. A small ship model of the Asari Dreadnought made famous for saving the Citadel Council at the Battle of the Citadel. Thanks Maybe for the ships. Then? What? Why? It's a fish. Fish have nothing to do with the Citadel. Besides, it'll be dead in a couple of years. Okay. Where am I? Thing is to okay, let's stick to just going this way. We'll do a big loop. Is this the lifespan talk? I'm not having the lifespan talk. Okay, we're going up. My space hamster. The attack on the human colony of Freedom's Progress has generated a swift but confused response. Aid vessels have been sent, but it is not clear whether there are survivors. What can I do for you? Your expeditions might be a little tame for me. Tame? A human can hardly take down a feral veret, let alone a Shatha. Who do you think you are? Well, my name's Shepard, and I... The Shepard? The one that put down Saren Arterius? Oh, you do know It's like a really loud bird right outside spirits. my window. <laughs> Shepard, in my store. I don't suppose I could convince you to record an advertisement for me. Sure you could. Can we work out a discount? A discount? I'd name my firstborn after you if you ask. Can we record it now? Just speak towards my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> Ooh, no other other gun shop has that kind each of other. Endorsement. Sorry, I was really curious by what bird it was. It was a magpie. It was on the roof. Like, right above my window. <laughs> All right. What can I do for you? I thought weapons were restricted on the Citadel now. Carrying them around is. Selling them isn't. We store them in off-site containers and deliver them to your ship. People who have permission to carry, like c -Sec, can walk out with them. If everything's done by catalog, why are you here? Rodham believes in salesmanship. The personal touch. Some say we're old-fashioned. We recognize that adventure traveling is a niche. A small, tight-knit community. I'd like to buy something. Try our electronic catalog interface. That kiosk over there. Tell me about your services. We sell quality hunting supplies, which you'll need when you purchase one of our adventure travel packages. Imagine it, human. The break of day. You and your team have been stalking a Shatha for five days. In that time, it's killed four men. You see it? Line it up. Take the shot. Blam! It's down. Blam! You're the hero. That's what we offer. Not a vacation, but an experience. Do you think he's the only Torian at that point in time that has ever said the word blam? I'll be going. Good hunting, Shepard. Alright. Oh god, I'm trying to move with one hand so I don't drop my drink. Hang on. Oh. Right, definitely need that. This might be useful. And that. Simple for popular modifications developed by the Ultos Convoy and figured among mercenary groups and military personnel. Increase spare ammo capacity by 10%. Sure, why not? Increase health by 5%. Oh. Sniper 
rifle. Shield strength by 5%. Hey, I'm not male shepherd. Why is that male shepherd? Amazing. Ah, screw this. We can cool. use this. So what do you think? Maybe a shotgun? I like the assault rifle. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> Gonna be hearing that in a lot of places. Have you tried Galaxy of Fantasy yet? I love that game. It's based on Turian mythology, That's but it's really fun. I hear it has 11 billion players now. Shepard. Kalisa been seen in Al Jelani, Westerland News. I interviewed you two years ago when you first became a Spectre. You presented your case very well on camera. Do you have a minute? What, so you can try to do another smear job on me? Now, Shepard, you may object to my methods, but we're on the same side. Your back, your news. I just want to give your story its due. <laughs> Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to assist the Destiny Ascension, costing hundreds of human lives. I've had enough of your disingenuous assertions. <laughs> That one's always needed. I wish I'd done that the first time we met. You bitch! I'll make sure everyone in the Alliance sees that. Check this. Did we get it? Nice. I could just, like, you know, shoot you. You always gotta punch her. Like, you need to. What's up? Welcome. The Zakara Ward Promenade offers upscale shopping and entertainment options for the discerning visitor. What entertainment options are available? The Dark Star is a small but popular night spot offering intoxicants, gambling, and exotic dancing. That's a mock of place. in this area? Radom Expeditions sells high-grade weapons as well as adventure travel packages to the galaxy's most dangerous destinations. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Gotta look, I guess. What will it be? Hear about anything interesting going on around here? I serve drinks. You wanna know what's going on? Check the news. I don't know why humans always ask me that. I want the strongest thing you have. Easy enough. This is... it's green? And guaranteed to knock you on your ass. Unless you're dextro DNA like me. If you are, it'll kill you. Anything else? I'm done for now. At that point, just drink it, just like pass out backwards. Oh, yeah. Dance? Question mark?
Guys, could you turn it down? I'm trying to listen to the news. Turn it down. <laughs> Too real. Hang on, I need to move away from that before I have to listen to any more of the stuff I said. Okay. Um, what's the con terminal? It's just to the right of that place. This is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> They're all my favorite store. Uh, look on this side. I heard that those lakes up on the Presidium are filled with fish. No, they're not. Have you ever been up there? No. CSEC won't let me. They say I'm a risk. Uh, they think every... I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the city. Welcome back. These stores are owned by the That's Citadel, right? We offer an assortment of... Uh, I thought she would have known about that too. That's weird, though. I don't think I've ever noticed that mission before. Uh, wrong one. Find someone in the Zakira market who knows about the Presidium Lakes and asking that fish. Maybe, um... What's that face? Um, Avina. Um, I don't want to use points. Ah. Welcome. This is the Zakara Ward. Nope. That's all for Thank now. Thank you for using Avina. Have a pleasant day. I wonder what a Presidium fish would taste like. I'm telling you, there are no fish up there. I'll find out as soon as I can find someone that knows about fish. I hear this is the best place for food on Zakara Ward. Oh yeah, I need this for my chef. Various quality uh, cuisine items used to prepare diplomatic dinners aboard starships. The Ascension novel, written by human author Drew Karpashin. The popular military historic novel Ascension focuses on several lives warped or destroyed by the human survivalist cult Cerberus. Five credits, how could I not? Revelation is a popular military historical novel by human writer Drew Carpishan that dramatizes human conflicts and political expansion following the 2148 discovery of the Prothean mass relay on Pluto and the beginning, and the beginning of the human galactic exploration. Another five credits, a steal. You heard wrong. This is the best place for food on the whole damn citadel. And yet you know nothing of Presidium fish. So it's the difficult. have allowed several dozen young men and women to leave gangs and join the military or enroll in school. Mm. An independent inquiry is investigating a group known as Cerberus in light of charges made by one Corporal Toombs and testimony like by Adrian Toombs, the Falcon. Here, on me, Michael Keaton. Oh, yeah. Greetings, Earth Clan. You will find many excellent ships for sale here. Only slightly used, yes. Now 
I know the Volus, and they lie. <gasps> An Elko. Do you know about Presidium fish? You ever had ramen? It's a delicacy back on Earth. What can I get you? Fish. Presidium fish. Uh, Avina, hi. Welcome. The Zakara Ward Marketplace provides shopping and storage space for the less privileged residents of the station. What sort of things are sold here? The Serta Foundation, a medical technology group from the Alliance, has an outlet store. Saranus Applications offers professional software. Why are there warehouses in the middle of a shopping district? This area is close to Zakara Ward's keel docking station. Freighters attach there to load passengers and supplies. Goods are stored locally until they can be distributed within the ward or transported off the station. However, CSEC recommends that visitors exercise caution, as these short-term warehouses are often used to move illegal goods. Eee. This area looks a little run down. Thought they would have done something typically about it. People here aren't very well off. Inhabitants of the wards typically have less income than those in the Presidium. There must be some way to solve the problem. Asari futurists believe poverty cannot be eliminated without cornucopia technology, which will create anything the user desires. Such technology is unknown outside of science fiction literature. Sloppy thinking. Society grows by pushing against limitations. And here I thought the Citadel was some sort of utopia. The recorded histories of all sapient species suggest that in every society, resources are not evenly split between members. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Now available on video, the abridged version of Francis Kidd's award-winning production of Hamlet, <laughs> featuring an all Elcor cast. Nostalgic melancholy. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. A fellow of infinite jest. Of most excellent fancy. Deep accusation. Where be your jibes now? Your gambles? Your songs? Your flashes of merriment that were wont to set the table on a roar? And don't forget to catch Elcor Hamlet Live, an unforgettable 14-hour experience. 14 hours. In sincere endorsement, you have not experienced Shakespeare until you have heard him in the voice of Elcor. Amazing. I would go. This clan is a thief, and I want her arrested. I'm sorry. I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. I did not! Just because I'm a Quarian! I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You're mocking me, Earth Clan. Just because the Vault Clan need... It was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. You say you're falsely accused? I was walking to the used ship dealer when he barged into me outside the Serta Foundation. He didn't stop or say he was sorry. A minute later, he runs up with C-Sec and accuses me of stealing his damn shit. You ran into each other outside the Serta Foundation. Is it possible the shit fell out of his pocket there? I guess. Sure, all I know is I didn't take it. Do you spend a lot of time at the used ship dealer? Yeah. Got a lot of nice models. I'd like to buy one and take it back to the fleet, but... A ship would make a great pilgrimage gift. You know about the pilgrimage? I traveled with Quarian, who was on hers. I... Wow. I didn't know anyone here would do that for one of us. Do you know who's telling the truth? My Omni-Tool can tell the Quarian doesn't have a chit on her. She could have stashed it to recover later. You know what Quarins are like. <laughs> and she's definitely a vagrant. I'll run her in and see what Bailey wants to do with her. You say she stole your credit shit? She must have. When I left the Serta Foundation store, she ran right into me. How does running into you mean she stole your credit shit? That's how pickpockets work. They bump into you and use that as a cover for rifling your pockets. You can't turn your back on these clanless quarians. Thieves. All of them. 
Are you sure you didn't leave your chit at the Serta Foundation? Of course not. You think I'd make a mistake like that? I didn't even buy anything there. That chit stayed in my pocket. I'll see if I can find out what happened. Ma'am, this is a C-Sec matter. We'll do all we can... All we can to resolve this. We don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chit, please let one of our officers know. Let's go. Be careful out there. Uh, it's around here, I think. Stand. Why can't I look at that? Isn't fresh out here. But you won't find any better dried seaweed on the station. The Systems Alliance Parliamentary Subcommittee for Transhuman Studies has awarded reparations for biotics suffering complications from L2 implants. Subcommittee Chairman Burns thanked biotics everywhere for their patience and understanding and promised more help for those forgotten by the system until now. That must be an interesting conversation. So which tech module are we supposed to get? With confusion, I thought you knew. What? No. All I heard Varanis say was, pick up a module. Welcome to Saranus Applications. Can I interest you? Ah, Shepard! Do I know you? No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Please, look around the store. It's a pleasure to have you here. You know, I use quite a bit of software in my line of work. It's a shame so few understand their own equipment. Besides the most obvious point-and-go nav interfaces, anyway. You wouldn't believe how often I hear, why is the ship turning around? We're only halfway there. <laughs> oh, I would. You know, I like your products. Any interest in an endorsement from the human who defeated Saren? I'd be thrilled. But I don't think I could afford to pay you for it. Don't worry about it. What if we just work out a discount? Absolutely. Just speaking to my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store in the Citadel. That will be splendid. I can edit that and have it working right away. Thank you so much. That rolled my ah, favorite my store. Ah, my favorite customer. What can I get you? I'd like to buy something. Oh, it's all automated these days. There's a catalog interface over there. If everything's automated, why are you here? Customer service. Sweeping out the store. Carefully explaining things to the technologically illiterate. It's stunning how many people think that light moves faster through expensive fiber optic cables than it does through cheap ones. He's got a point, man. A Volus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chip? Oh, yes. He bought some environmental system drivers, then left without his chip. I didn't notice he'd left until he was already gone. If you see him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. Thanks for your time. I'll be here if you need anything. Okay. Um, Jesus, that's expensive. Squad bonus, plus 20% tech power damage. Sick. Yeah, why not? Standard only tools calibrate over the wide neural point intoler input tolerance range so they can be used effectively by any race. By tuning the inputs of the Omni tool to match the specific neural patterns of the user, responsiveness and power can be greatly increased. Once tuned in this manner, the Omni tool is almost unusable by anyone but the wearer, and it must be cons constantly recalibrated to su subtle neural shifts. Fuck. Fuck that one up. This looks interesting. Just burning through my cash. 10% ten 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 to shields, barriers, and armor. Let's do it. Reduces the recharge time to your powers by 5%. Buy everything. I felt her hand go into my. Please move along. You forgot your credit shit at Saranus Applications. The clerk's holding it for you. Oh. Well. The Quarian could have stolen it. <laughs> I'll close this event report, but I'll be watching you. Get a permanent residence, or I'll run you in for no, vagrancy. No, not in way. He was the delicious thing. Thank you. I... I wish I could give you something more than words. Can you take care of yourself from here? I guess. I mean, most nights I eat nutrient paste in the Turian shelter. But I'm surviving. Thanks. You're welcome. 
And you called it handsome. Maybe the immuno booster? It's supposed to help with good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation outlet on Zakir Award. I couldn't help but notice your prices. They seem a bit steep. With respect, the Foundation is not concerned with profits. A portion of our sales funds research to cure genetic diseases. You know, it would make your services more popular. An endorsement from the woman who defeated Saren. Oh my! You are Shepard, aren't you? <laughs> I'm not I would be glad to give you my employee discount if you would do that for us. It's a deal. Just speak into my console here. <laughs> I'm Maybe. Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. I'll work it into That's our advertising at once. Thank you. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Come on, Finn. That there are a cape. Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation outlet on Zakir Award. I'd like to buy something. Purchases are made through our catalog interface. It's over there. If everything's done by catalog, why are you here? Customer service. Returns, exchanges, and the group rates. We also find that sales are better when there's someone to personally interact with. Though I'm not sure why a human company exclusively hires a sari to work their stores. It's the blueness. Tell me about your Can't store. Resist the blue. The Serta Foundation is a human organization known for its genetic therapy regimens and genetically engineered products. Serta is probably best known for the development of Metagel. Thanks for your time. Come back soon, Shepard. I need your capacity increased by three. Oh, I need that so bad. Bye. <laughs> Life support webbing. Increase health by 10%. Gonna need that as well. Man, I am running out of money. I'm down to half a million. I started at like 1.2, I think, maybe? This place is expensive. Wouldn't a refreshing, delicious Tupari sports drink hit the spot right now? You know... A refreshing, delicious Tapari or whatever they said would Tupari, hit this right now. Now available with dextro amino acid. I just got a refund in exchange and I was told to pick up a new omni gel converter here. I don't think you have the right place. No, they said to go to the warehouse. This is the warehouse. 1.2 Goobender. Oh yeah, 1.2 million. I get it. <laughs> the Benny's is 3.9. 3.9 Goobender. I remember there being a mission in here, like I have to come here later for something. Don't remember why. Here now, anything here? No. Where do we find out about this damn fish? I'm gonna quickly look up where look, the fish thing is because uh, it's a decision, um, you know. mostly I just don't want to leave and have to come back. Wait, so. Do you have a service order? No, I got the refund, made the exchange, and then he said go to the warehouse. Six kinds of okay, beer he's on in the lounge. Back to the lounge. Conveniently, the fast travel is everywhere. I've just realized, actually, can I just fast travel to the lounge? I mean, I'm almost there at this point. I might as well just walk. Ah, oh, let's just find out. Been quicker to walk. At the rate this is loading, I would say yes. <laughs> Series X, by the way. That's probably the longest loading screen I've seen in six months. Alright,
you're one of the groundskeepers from the Presidium. You know if there are fish in the lakes? I get that question a lot. I think it's right behind where's the restroom. Those are reservoirs. The Presidium's own supply, independent from the water storage tanks in the pools. The only place I know of on the station to get a live fish is the Leosanese gift shop. When I pour a glass of water, it's the same stuff tourists throw garbage in. No, they purify it first. If some solarian or human bacteria gets left in, and a turian or quarian drinks it, they could die. Everything would be so much simpler if we all had the same DNA. But no, the universe loves diversity. I noticed you're one of the groundskeepers. I mean, those are the only place I know of on the station to get a Where's life. that gift shop? In the market downstairs from the bar. Delea sells aquariums. Fish are the largest pets most station residents can get a permit for. Problem. If you get up to the Presidium, check out the DeMaio flowers and watch from the concert floor. They're coming in very nice. It's just weird to hear him. Like, there's something very unsettling, not even in a weird way, about just a game being set in the far future, in space, and an alien just talking about how he's planting gardens. <laughs> there's something strange about it. I don't really know what it is. What do you want? Why are you so interested in fish from the Presidium? It's so decadent. Eating a fish from the Presidium would be like screwing Shaira. Ugh. Sorry you're so squishy. Where are you supposed to get a decent grip? I talked to one of the Presidium groundskeepers. He said there aren't any fish in the lakes. What? I told you. Why have all that water if you're not going to store something to eat in it? I don't understand aliens at all. Thanks for telling me. It's all he's talked about all damn day. Give me some money. Oh my god. Is that the only this meeting you see would move? be more productive if Udina was to join us. My advisor is unavailable. As counselor, I represent the voice of humanity and the alliance. Shepard will be here and Oh, Commander. We were just talking about you. It's been a long time, Anderson. I hope the last couple years have treated you right. There have been some rough spots. It's good to have you back. We've heard many rumors surrounding your unexpected return. Some of them are... unsettling. We called this meeting so you could explain your actions, Shepard. We owe you that much. After all, you saved our lives in the battle against Saren and his Geth. The Collectors are abducting human colonists in the Terminus systems. Worse, I think they're working for the Reapers. The Terminus systems are beyond our jurisdiction. Your colonists knew this when they left Council Space. You're missing the important part, Counselor. The Reapers are involved. Ah, yes, Reapers. The immortal race of sentient starships allegedly waiting in dark space. Uh, we have dismissed You've that claim. You've seen one. Shepard, no one else encountered the hologram on Ilos that told you the truth about the Reapers. Only you and your crew ever spoke with someone. I believe you. But without evidence from another source, the others think Saren was behind the Geth attacks. Saren was an organic. The Geth would never accept him as their leader. They only followed him because he was Sovereign's agent. Saren was a compelling and charismatic individual. He convinced the Geth the Reapers were real, just as he convinced you. It was part of his plan to attack the Citadel. The Reapers are just a myth, one you insist on perpetuating. We believe that you believe it, but that doesn't make it true. Go back to Ilos and talk to Vigil. Or just look at what's left of Sovereign. It's obvious the technology is more advanced than ours. The hologram on Ilos is no longer functional, and we have found nothing to suggest that Sovereign was not a Geth creation. The Geth are capable of remarkable technological achievements. This is probably why Saren recruited them. This Reaper theory proves just how fragile your mental state is. You have been manipulated by Cerberus, and before them, by Saren. 
I kept Saren from conquering the Citadel. I sacrificed human lives to save this council. We are in a difficult position, Shepard. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the council. This is treason, a capital offense. That's too far. Shepard is a hero. I'm on this council too, and I won't let this whitewash continue. Maybe there is a compromise, not a public acknowledgement given your ties, but something to show peripheral support. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the Council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a Spectre. What does that mean? Do I need to start filing reports? That won't be necessary. This is a show of good faith on our part. We cannot become involved in an investigation regarding the missing colonies in the Terminus systems, but Spectre reinstatement shows our support of you personally. Man, Garrison's I accept your up. offer. It's good to have the Council on my side. Good luck with your investigation, Shepard. We hope for a quick resolution and a quick end to your relationship with Cerberus. Well, that went better than expected. You realize the Council's offer is just symbolic. They won't actually do anything. Even if they don't help, I might as well stay on good terms. True enough. Don't worry about the Council or the Alliance. I'll find some way to keep them off your back. Shouldn't be too hard. As long as you keep to the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard. What are you doing here? Stop by to see how Anderson was doing. You don't have to cover for me. I invited Shepard here to speak with the Council. We just finished our meeting. You what? Consular, do the words political shitstorm mean anything to you? The Council reinstated my Spectre status. They're just happy I'm staying out in the Terminus systems. Yes, I could see how that arrangement works best for both sides. But you really shouldn't have taken a step like this without consulting with me first, Counselor. I don't answer to you, Udina. Why don't you go to your office and think about that for a while? Of course, Counselor. Good day to both of you. Still a prick. Sorry about that. Udin has never gotten over the fact that I got the council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. Udin is just doing his job. True enough. He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus, he's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The Keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces have been rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could. But between the Keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. Well, here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave, and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. What happened to Staff Lieutenant Olenko after the Normandy was destroyed? Staff Commander Olenko is still with the Alliance. But he's working on a special mission. It's classified. I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. How have the last couple years treated you? Serving on the Council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it. 
but I know how important it is, so I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. I wish Keith Davis much as could I be a complain, companion. I've got an important job to do here. The front line, that's got to be yours. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. Where's this alcohol gonna go? Like... I can't imagine that being re oh okay yep that's kind of what I was expecting. <laughs> I'm kind of half expecting him now to just reappear at this end and start. Oh no, guy appeared at that end. Okay, fair enough. He'll probably disappear when he gets halfway down it as well. Hello, where the hell did you come from? Oh, that's like a dead end. <laughs> Reparations to humans whose ancestors died in the relay 314 incident at Shashi. That's it. You know what? I probably shouldn't have done that. I don't know if by becoming a spectre again. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. I'm just gonna let this do its thing. Okay. Uh, oh, there we go. Grades already have. <clears throat> From Samesh Bhatia. Commander Shepard, Mr. Rudino offered to pass on a message for me. I wish to gain it again to express my thanks for your assistance in retrieving my wife's body. While nothing can ever banish the pain of losing Narali, being able to see that her, uh, that her body was treated properly helped me more than you can imagine. I have opened the restaurant that my wife always wished to start back on Earth. Narali's picture hands on the wall, and Alliance soldiers eat for free. It is the least I can do to honor the courage for which both you and my wife have served humanity. Sincerely, Sumesh Bhatia. You're not dead from Emily Wong. You're alive? How come you broke whatever cover you've been under for two years but didn't offer an exclusive interview to your favourite reporter? Whenever you come up for air and ready to talk, let me know. Emily Wong. Yeah, I'll talk to you. Not the other one, though. Punch her in the face. Consort Shiara. Commander. I thought that my gift of words had been incorrect. An embarrassing notion. But my contacts tell me you're yet, uh, you yet survive. I am pleased to hear that your journey continues, though I sense that you head towards an even deeper darkness. When you fought Saren, only your resolve was tested, but now I fear you cannot rely on your own strength. Take whatever steps you must to ensure that those battling at your side uh, fight with clear minds and glad hearts. Be well, Consort Shiara. From Omega Clinic Desk. Commander, I wanted to thank you again for saving me from those Batarians. I thought I'd seen the worst of people's anger and fear at Dr. Solus's clinic. I had no idea how much anger his work was keeping in check, how bad it really was. If not for you, I'd be dead. Thank you. The clinic is doing well. You got rid of most of the plague and I've been able to handle the rest without too much trouble. The Blue Suns keep offering to take over security here. I keep the mechs powered on. I wouldn't make the same mistake twice. Thanks, Daniel. I'm making a difference. Got bonus 50% submachine gun damage against shields and biotic barriers. Upgrade SMGs for your entire squad. Sick. Oh, I might actually have to do some uh, planet sweeping. <laughs> Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Not now. Working on collector data. Have ruled out artificially intelligent virus. Unless it's very intelligent. And toying with me. Hmm. Tests. Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Do 
or something? I'm more interested in just... Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. We'll talk later. Commander. Okay. Uh, I want to go... and check out... Whoa! I just kind of broke the game. Uh, let's quickly see if Joker wants to say anything. But I want to go upstairs and do my armor and stuff. Commander. I assume everything's going on. We're just on. having an argument over personalization of my workspace. Cerberus regulations are clear, Mr. Moreau. Personalization does not include grease on my bridge cameras. <laughs> it's just mad that all its footage of me looks like a dream sequence. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out... Well, it seems like Garrus has finally worked that stick out of his butt, but now he's trying to beat guys to death with it. I can't believe I like the old Garrus better. No surprise, Morden acts superior to everyone. Like he's got tenure at FU. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about Do you have a specific you? inquiry? That's all for now. Logging you out, see if there was anything Running to green. Okay, I just want to fuck around with my armor a bit. Oh, I need to go deliver the food, actually. Hang on. We'll go downstairs first. Wait. Oh, no, I keep going that way. I guess this is... Yeah, there she is. The Red Rose. That used to be my calling card when I first started out. In place of whatever I took, I left a single red rose. It wasn't until I met Keiji that I realized how silly it was. He had a way of making you realize when you were just being sentimental. I stole that on a dare, believe it or not. There was a big museum show coming to Ilium. Artifacts from Earth going on tour. Very high security. Keiji dared me to steal this. So I broke in, hacked the security, put a few guards to sleep, and replaced the piece with a worthless duplicate. They never knew the difference. My first museum job. Nowhere near the last. That's my favorite piece, painted for me by a child prodigy from Elysium. She was the cutest thing. She was kidnapped by slavers who hoped to sell her on Omega. I wasn't about to let that happen. I set up an idea as a buyer's rep to get a special tour of the slaver's vessel. Once aboard, I freed the girl and smuggled her off the ship. She painted that for me on the way home. I'll never forget how it felt to watch her work. Don't laugh, I like those books. Romance novels, crime novels, the classics. There's something about the feel of actual paper in your hands. Their musty smell. It's relaxing. Keiji used to find books for me while on the job. Some of these are more valuable than the objects he was hired to steal. Tell if we're moving. Oh, what's that? People are talking out there, and I hear it all. She gets her own private bar in her room. This is where I would want to set up as well. stuff and that's some of the red stuff why is pouring it and drinking it two separate animations why can't they just be the same time oh I'm getting a bit floppy and it came down here to deliver food Commander, those provisions you provided were perfect. I owe you. I've already thrown together some of my calamari gumbo. Here, try a bite. Truth told, it's based on an Asari recipe. 
Seems a little cannibalistic to me with their tentacle heads and all, but they ain't no good grub. Anyway, thanks again. You really came through. You're welcome. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Talk to you later, I'll Garrett. be here if okay. you need me. Talk to me on. Uh, Alma and then... Rupert, there's something different with tonight's oh. meal. Seems like you put in more food and less ass. Yeah, yeah. Nothing yeah, wrong with eating an ass, my boy. Nothing wrong with eating an ass. I wasn't checking my hamster, too. Why were you seven grand? The dress is still so strange. Alright, let's go do this Kasumi mission. Launched. It's platinum more than anything. It's right now. Probe away. Oh, there's probably a big spike somewhere. Launching probe. Launching probe. A little bit of black. 
I don't remember if there's anything in asteroid belts in this game. So we're gonna just... Oh, there's something there. Thuft. Technically named Thoft. Dutch for the head. Snow head. Launching probe. Launching probe. Big spots. Probe launched. Probe away. Probe away. I have to go buy more probes. That's all on Thuft. Nothing in the sun. Launching probe. Probe launched. Launching probe. Big probe spot. away. Seven left. Okay. Probe launched. Launching probe. Launching probe.
launching probe. Goodbye, more probes. Probe away. Launching probe. Let's go buy some more probes. launched. Population almost five and a half million. Let's see if we can take that down a few. Okay, there's no resources here apparently. Well, they lie. I'm not really going to use her again after this. Looking good, Miss Allison Gunn. Hawk won't be able to keep his eyes off you. I assume Allison Gunn is my cover. You run a small but talented band of mercs out in the Terminus systems. Precisely the type of person Hawk respects. I took the liberty of giving you a reputation. Papers, witnesses, article in Badass Weekly. Just don't start talking business with him, and you'll be fine. Remind me, what kind of man are we dealing with? Hawk's a weapons dealer and smuggler. He killed my partner and stole his gray box. 
Other than that, he's not so bad. Rich, charismatic, willing to crack open a man's skull to get at the neural implants inside. I'm still not thinking again where it's going nuts. Take it, I'm wearing this get up for a reason. You'd look really out of place at a society party in armor, don't you think? You look great. You should wear this stuff more often. Now is probably a good time to fill me in on the details. You have been waiting patiently. Our friend Hawk is throwing a party for his closest friends. A couple dozen of the worst liars, cheaters, and mass murderers you'll ever want to meet. All bringing gifts as a tribute to the man himself. Our tribute is a lovely statue of your old friend Saren, rendered with loving detail and filled to the brim with our weapons and armor. You can keep your pistol as long as it's concealed. They won't hassle you over a sidearm. Once inside, we'll make our way to Hawk's vault door, somewhere in the back of the ballroom. Then, we case the security and start peeling away the layers. The statue should be there, waiting for you to crack it open and arm up. Then we just waltz into the vault and take back KG's gray box. And I'll finally get a chance to say goodbye. You've worked really hard on this. KG must have meant a lot to you. Was I that obvious? KG's gray box holds a lot of priceless personal memories. It's all that remains of who he was. But the secret he discovered is dangerous. I wouldn't bring you here if it wasn't. What's in the gray box that makes it worth all this trouble? The gray box holds KG's memories. Everything from all the codes and plans he stole to all the time we spent together. Wrapped up in those memories is the secret he stole. KG never told me what it was, but the information got him killed. This ought to be interesting. That's what I'm going for. This is our stop. To you, Ms. Gunn. Hold a moment, ma'am. There seems to be an issue with the statue. Is there a problem here? No, Mr. Hawk. Just doing a scan. I don't believe we've met. Donovan Hawk. I've heard a lot about you. Name's Allison Gunn. And though I've heard a lot about you. You've been very busy lately, if the extra net is to be believed. Sir, the scanners aren't picking anything up. Hmm. I don't think our guests would come all the way here from Ilium just to cause trouble. Do you? Why are they always South African? You may pass through, Ms. Gunn. You were invited after all. But I will ask your companion to remain outside. You understand, I hope. Care to explain why my friend has to stand outside? I don't like the look of your friend, so she stays outside. Simple as that. No problem. You're the host. Enjoy the party. Well, that didn't go as I expected. Any idea why he'd send you away? No. We've never seen each other in person. And no one knows what I look like. Just watching his ass, I'm sure. I can't blame him. What do we do now? We go on with the plan. You'll just have to do all the talking. I'll stay out of sight and stick with you the best I can. We'll keep radio contact in case something goes wrong. We need to find the door and case the security. We'll figure out the next step then. How did you ever contain that situation on Apollo? Oh, that? A quick application of force, With pressure, and bam, done. Thank goodness. That goes to a security room. We'll probably have to get in there at some point. Let's case the vault and figure out what we have to do. Okay. Isn't it suspicious that I'm literally sprinting around this place? Oh, I was about to say, that's probably a really bad place for a fire, and then I realize it's... Not real, so the egg on my face. What's your read on that archangel guy? I hear he's dead. Or gone or something. 
Good riddance, I say. Grab me an interesting luck for him. Alright, uh. Who is around? Huh? Anything? Private Reams, no way we can sneak out of that party. The place is locked down tight and Security Chief Roe is in charge. No way Roe would ever let uh, that get past her. I don't, I'd rather stand around bored and guard duty than risk her wrath. Sorry, Samuel. Chief Roe, huh? She sounds like a hard ass. <laughs> if we could tap into the guard's communications, I could probably use this information. I hear Mr. Hawk's vault is Say, what's that over there? Hawk's bedroom, I believe. Wow, who's his architect? This is a very impressive place. Or a very large one, at least. I just realize this is the dress that I keep thinking about wearing. That's my casual wear. Hawk's private rooms are off limits without proper clearance. I'm dying to get in there, but we have to scope out the vault first. Okay. Like, you can't say I don't look suspicious of running around this place. Very nice. There's more here than I expected. Password protected voice oh, lock, genetic barrier, DNA scanner, looks like an EX700 series. Everything a vault needs to be impenetrable. This gonna be a problem? Please, remember who you're talking to. We'll need to get a voice sample for the voice lock. You'll have to go chat up Hawk for that. We'll have to find a password too. DNA, child's play. We should find plenty of DNA samples in Hawk's private quarters. And the barrier? Cut the power. Never fails. If we can find it, KG could get through a system like this in his sleep. And I'm better. Let's get to it. So you could do it in a coma? It looks like the barrier's power cable runs under the floor here. I'll set your Omni tool to scan for electromagnetic fields. Uh -huh. Do -do -do. Ooh, nice seagull painting. Nice other painting. Do -do -do -do. No reason. He has fish in his fountains. Why oh, doesn't the Presidium? One sec. That should take care of the barrier. Okay. One down. What was over here? Ms. Gunn, good to see you. That scene at the door hasn't soured your evening, I hope. I understand the security, but who would dare try to break into Donovan Hawk's home? Gunn, in our line of work, we attract a certain element. Few understand the pains we take to keep the barbarians at bay. People these days want comfort, entertainment, love. They don't see that the galaxy is fragile. They only have to worry about simple luxuries. Why? Because people like me, and you, are doing the terrible things that keep the galaxy spinning. This party is for us. The cleaners. The support structure for the galaxy's gleeful delusions of peace. May there always be a market for the things we do. Can 
Can I have a fish? You're well in my tank. I said get him talking, and you got him talking. We've got enough of a voice sample. Let him go. Enjoy the party, Miss Gun. Once we find the password, we can get past the voice scanner. Let me unlock that security room door for you. There we go. Ready when you are. Oh, I'm gonna have to do this one, am I? See that? Okay. Steal the money and the medi. Nuts. I have that problem too. So many passwords are out here. Can't keep them straight. The password for tonight's is a perugisho? Hmm. So it's not even that easy to remember. It's no big deal. The voice scanner means the password's only useful to hawk anyway. After this party, want to grab some beers? Let me know. Sam. Got something? The password is Perugia. Huh. Perugia, of course. That's the name of the man who stole the Mona Lisa. Nice. I tapped their communications. I think we can get past that private room guard. Tell him Chief Rowe sent you. Now, I just take the voice sample we got from Hawk and... Got it. Now we can crack that voice scanner. Out there and Some say Commander Shepard is still alive. Hurriedly. Oh, please. It's wishful thinking at best. Yeah, I don't know either. She, I, I think she might be dead still. <sighs> Mr. Hawk's private rooms are off limits to guests without security clearance. I have clearance to go in. On whose authority? I have authorization from Chief Rowe. Okay, one second. Chief Rowe, Samuels. Have you given access authorization to Mr. Hawk's private rooms? They have access, Samuels. They'll stop bothering me. Got it. Sorry to bother you, ma'am. Okay, you're clear to go in. Enjoy the party. He's probably gonna die for letting me in. I like the big vases. Cool view. Look for anything we can get usable DNA from. Just make it quick and quiet. It's clean. It's a plant. Ha! Found a sample? No, a credit shit. <laughs> I got one credit. Hmm, no DNA. Looks like Hawk's been trying to crack Keiji's gray box. Looks like he's missing something. He hasn't cracked the encryption yet. Empty. Too bad. A cigarette butt would have been a good source. Pretty sure it's the glass, but I just want to go around first, getting everything in. It's the easiest one of those so far. The cleaners don't dare touch treasures like this. We can get some skin cells from the dust. It's probably contaminated, though. We should find another sample. Holographic interface. Won't find a sample here. Kokuda, decryption project update. Little progress to report. We, now, uh, we have now completed dictionary attacks using words and phrases from 4,800 galactic languages. 
Research into the Okuda family has not produced any matches. It is unlikely that a random brute force approach will produce a result within our lifetimes. Given the nature of the Grey Box's technology, it's possible that the decryption key may not be a password at all. It could be a memory, an emotion, even a smell. The permutations could be infinite. I suggest that we begin investigating alternative methods for breaking through the security block on the box. We can probably get Hawk's DNA off the data pad. He seems to have obsessed over this. But I'm not sure there's enough. Let's keep looking. Good morning. Time to wake up. Sorry. No hair, no skin flakes. The housekeepers must be thorough. Not a great saliva sample, but it's still useful. That should do it. Let's get out of here. Look at all those chickens. Oh, are they waiting for us? <laughs> Sneak back out of here, no one has to know. That got it. The barrier's down. Password required. Illusion. Voice ID accepted. Welcome, Mr. Hawk. DNA identification affirmed. Welcome, Mr. Hawk. I'll check for security cams. Go ahead and get dressed. Oh, good. That was the head of the Statue of Liberty. A ragtime. So this is Hawk's fault. Very nice. This scanner will hone in on the gray box. It's not far. Michelangelo's David. Just... Wow. Think we could get this out through the door? Maybe we could try. Hawk has good taste. I'll give him that. Ugh. Rachni Queen. I guess everything's valuable to someone. Doesn't look like much, but that might be one of the most valuable pieces here. Turian art is rare outside of Palavin. For good reason, I say. Why is that Medijo down here? In case you hurt yourself on this orb. This is nice. Oddly relaxing. Wow. Imagine that thing coming at you in a dark alley. What even is it? I don't think you've ever seen one of these. Is this from Dragon Age? I can only assume that's from Dragon Age. Even outside the Alliance, Asari go nuts for this sort of thing. How did Hawk get Lady Liberty's head? Damn you, Hawk! That's... impressive. Not 
not sure what it is, though. This looks like quarry script. Wow. This has got to be old. When was the last time the Quarians wrote on stone? Okay. I feel like its eyes are following me. Yikes. A model of the Kara. It's like a Turian Titanic, the way I hear it. Here we are. Oh my god. There it is. Don't bother Miss Goto. It's cold locked. I had a feeling that was you at the door. I knew if it was really you, you'd get through anyway. You know me. I don't like to disappoint. I need what's in your grey box, Kasumi. You know I'm willing to kill you for it. I'll admit your skills are impressive. You got into my vault like I'd left it open. But you're still going to die, screaming, just like your old friend. Let's see you try. This is where your special skills come into play, Shepard. Let's do this. Someone's coming. <laughs> I just got wrecked instantly. Ah, oh, it was only a matter of time before we died. And of course, it'll be on the first firefight we had. Oh my god. Just trying to switch weapons in this game is near impossible. I'm gonna die. I couldn't move. I was stun locked. Literally the first firefight I'm in. Dying repeatedly, and this is not fun. Going silent. Down. Okay. Going 
dark. Blueprints. There's a landing pad to the east. Let's get out of here. Joker, bring the shuttle in now. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh yeah, that's not gonna help at all. Try to change weapon. It's so impossible to change weapons in this game. Stand here and whittle away at shield. God, get cover. Oh my god, that's close. Panicking internally quite a lot, like really worried I might die <laughs> and have to do a lot of this fight again. Damn it! We have to find another way. I'm surprised there's a part of like the Normandy or something. Isn't it?
That's a lot of mechs. Just don't do it, please. Here they are, ready for action. Eclipse forever! Now you see me. We do. As soon as they started walking towards me, I was like, I'm fucked. <laughs> did it. I don't know what's causing them. Oh, she's blowing them up. I got another one. <laughs> That's amazing. Now you see me. Weapons than that to blow those tanks. Oh. Oh. It'll take heavier weapons than that to blow okay. those tanks. Take heavier weapons than that to blow those tanks. Do you have heavier weapons? I don't.
was that to your liking? That got it. Apparently, yes, it was. Don't let them out of there with me. What? Kill Alison Gunner. Bring the other girl to me. You're left to watch your life. Stop him! Walking towards me is quite worrying. Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> no shield. I'm gonna die. down. Stays there, I am fine. Dark. 
you is gonna die. Lucky lose around. Why would they have this whole back bit with nothing here? Doesn't make any sense. Sorry, I'm flying. This looks interesting. She's pretty brutal with that power. <laughs> Killing almost everything in one hit. Since this is, I really need the toilet before I go any further. Go away.
take this South African guy down. Good prince. I really didn't like District 9. I thought it was a really bad movie. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, it did not help the South African accent. I do not have that gun. I wish it would stop showing it to me in cutscenes. I would love that gun. Incoming! Get down! You could have done this the easy way, Goldrum. Allow me to show you the hard way. Up ahead. I can see it. About to die, I did not notice. Look straight ahead. Okay. 
shot. Here we go. Go get him. This but it's your point now. Here they come. Do what you like to this gunship. I have a squadron of them. Taking heavy fire. Focus. Look right. Get ready. Stop poking. Ah, I was trying to pick up the ammo. <laughs> I will probably die now. from the right. Oh shit. 
That was the worst time I've ever fucked with that. Bit. Okay, that was crazy. Okay, I'll try and quick look around on this side. Health or anything? No, nope. oh, there isn't even the, uh, this side to look at. Let's get out of here. Sumi, if you're seeing this, it's because I'm dead. The information we found is all here. And it's big, Kasumi. If the Council ever got wind of this, the Alliance could be implicated. Kasumi, I... I encrypted the information to keep it safe. And I uploaded the encryption key to your gray box, so no one could get the whole package. But if I'm dead... And if anyone knows about this, then I've made you a target, my love. I'm so, so sorry. Keiji. I know you, Kasumi. You'll want to keep these memories forever. But you don't need some neural implant to know I'll always be with you. Please, Kasumi. Destroy these files. There's nothing more I can do to protect you. I can't do that. This is all that's left. Goodbye, Kasumi. I love you. Is there any way we can just destroy the information? No. Keiji's a master at encrypting files. He laced the information into his memories. You can't get one without experiencing the other. If it's that important to you, keep it. Just make sure you're ready to live with the consequences. Yeah, I am. I'll stay off the grid. No one will know I exist. I think I want this. Thanks, Shepard. This should come in handy. Gain the loyalty of the thief. It was the, this should come in handy. It was kind of unexpected. Leveled up. The heist was successful. Kaiji Okuda's grey box was recovered in the remains of Kasumi Goto's possession. Uh, Donovan Hawk was killed in the destruction of his gunship. Kasumi is loyal. Disorientating to concussion charges thrown and inflicts minor damage and inca incapacitates all nearby targets. Got a new outfit for her. Actually, I think I know our second outfit's awesome. The Locust FMG. Designed for longer range encounters than a standard submachine gun. The Locust is a highly accurate model with an infamous history. <gasps> Do I have a new one? Uh, squad bonus 30% tech buff. Bonus power. Sorry. Failing. Hey, look. Credits found. 28,201. Was that one down the sofa? Platinum. Sick. No messages for you, Commander. Okay, well, I have to change for a start. I don't want to wear this dress. Get my fish. Oh, hold on.
that one. How is our newest Turian crew member doing? His injuries look painful. He's been through a lot, and not just physically. There's something about him. I just want to hold him close and whisper, it will be all right. I know exactly what you mean. You two would be such a cute couple. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Nothing new there. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Maybe. Scaris is my baby. Alright, nothing there. 30% tech power damage. Noise. Tech cooldowns. Arms training. For intensive training, Shepard can learn to use a single bonus power. Obtaining more loyal squad members will increase the number of powers available for Shepard. Shepard can. Complete this research project multiple times. Each time the project is completed, Shepard selects a new pow uh, bonus power, and any points already spent transferring to the new system. Okay. 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 Places of power. We'll Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, would like that, actually. Talked about work earlier. Time with special tasks group studying genophage. It wasn't entirely honest. Lied. Of omission. Also, other kinds need to clear the air. Mission too important to keep secrets. Work on genophage was more than just study. What was the special tasks group doing with the Krogan genophage? Study at first, as I said, but uncovered surprising data. Krogan population was increasing at faster rate than expected. Krogan were adapting to genophage, overcoming disease. Did the Krogan evolve, or did some of their scientists develop a treatment? Krogan scientists? <laughs> Never met Krogan scientists worthy of term. No, natural evolution. Krogan physiology incredibly durable. Organ redundancy, backup systems, cellular regeneration. Genophage like any other natural hazard. Krogan evolved past it. Maybe they were just having a lucky year. Or fewer mercs left, meaning more Krogan were left to repopulate. Please, Shepard. Social environmental concerns accounted for. Not an undergraduate. Population spike caused by adaptation to genophage. No other possibility. The genophage was a terrible mistake. It nearly destroyed the Krogan and their culture. Now they have a chance to recover. Naive viewpoint. Krogan too dangerous to allow unchecked birth rate. Look at Krogan rebellions. Personally led a science team. Geneticists, chemists, sociologists, mathematicians. Created new version of genophage. Released it onto Chanka, other Krogan-centric areas. Restabilized Krogan population. You never considered other options? Hundreds. Thousands. Modified genophage offered best outcome. Stabilized population, avoided publicity that could incite Krogan anger, averted potential genocide or devastating war. Best solution for whole galaxy, Krogan included. If the Krogan are so dangerous, why not just sterilize them outright? Not a war criminal, not a murderer, genocide, unnecessary. Krogan as a whole, violent, aggressive, still have outliers worth saving. Genophage modification protected galaxy, allowed Krogan chance to survive. Everyone wins. Good for us, good for them. How did you distribute the modified genophage? Covert drops, hospitals, clan centers, water supplies. Very difficult. Few Solarians on Tuchanka. Team got caught a few times. Had to fight free. <sighs> Messy. Better when things went as planned. How did your genophage modification work? Krogan evolution attached garbage genetic code to genophage attack sites. Modification created other areas for garbage code to connect. Left sites clean, capable, running smoothly. The 
genophage was a mistake bordering on a war crime, recreating it is unforgivable. Don't want me on team? Don't bring me. Can stay here. Work on collector research. But no apologies. Did what was right. Hope you do the same if necessary. Should get back to work. Talk more later. Next time, tissue synthesis has to compile. Good for free time. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Not at the moment. Think anything else? I'll let you work. Okay. We'll be here if you need me. Well, I can talk to him, so I may as well check everyone else. Commander. We'll talk nope. later. Commander. I meant right now, but... Commander. I'm more interested in just talking. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. We'll talk later. Commander. Uh, while I'm here, just change that to that. I can never change back to that. I'll probably regret it, but whatever. being kind of good, but, oh, I don't know, I'm never going to be so good anyway, so. Okay, right, um, we'll check Joker, I know I say it every time, but. So, Hadley, how are you going to spend your next furlough? You really think we'll have another shore leave? Of course, Who said Shepard's forming the best team this galaxy has ever seen. Kicks and ass. Like sure right, no, you know what? I have loved Commander everything. I assume everything's going well. It was you. until the things started. You were deliberately me. falsifying maintenance reports, Mr. Moreau. Not falsifying, tweaking. I always round up on task times. It makes us look good when we come in under. Harmless self-promotion. Edie can ease off on that. Very well, Shepard. Yeah. Go pow. I win. Joker. Right, right. No hard feelings. Good game. I assume everything's going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. I assume everything's Good going well. Good for now. Well. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Yes, Shepard. I want to know more Do you have a specific about... inquiry? How are you getting along with Joker? Mr. Moreau does not trust me. It offends him that I am installed aboard his ship's computers. Yeah, the last Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. The airlock is ajar. No messages for you, Commander. Fine. Go way down. Jack gets the simple going under there. What can we do for you, Commander? Carry on. Will do, Commander. Commander. Saeed probably still doesn't talk. Back for another lesson. Yeah. Back for another lesson. A minute? I really appreciate your help with the Hawk Heist. I've been going through Keiji's gray box. It's so nice to have him back. Even in that form, I miss him. I usually travel hidden away in cargo bays. It's nice to be able to look out a window for a change. <sighs> Commander. What can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Thank you, Commander. Rupert put the new supplies to good use. 
You're welcome. Get some goodies. Shepard, need me Have you got something? a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some Talk help. to you later, I'll guys. be here if you need me. Okay, he's still calibrating. So, where to next? Mission. We may as well do Saeed's mission. We have used half our fuel. Oh, no, 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 no. Something I wanted to check quickly before I leave this place. So I'm not sure if the weapons vendor has new stuff because I um I'm not sure about the appearance. It's red. Yeah, it's cool. You know what? Ah, I like Garrus's beat up look. I need to do the warp stuff. Let's go. Yes? How'd you end up working on the Citadel? I started with the Alliance way back when, but the traveling was killing me. It's a shitty life if you're trying to raise a family, seeing your kids every six months. I joined c so I could stay in one place, put down roots. You like life here on the Citadel? Uh, life here is good. Hell of a lot different than life back on Earth. I miss the food, mostly. You just can't get sockeye salmon here on the station. You ever get back there? Earth, every couple of years, less and less all the time. But when I finish my stint with c -Sec, there's a nice little place in the foothills I'm gonna retire to. Not that I'm retiring anytime soon. I should be going. You need anything else, let me know. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Nothing. The gun one is this one? I'm pretty sure this is the gun. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the okay. Citadel. Uh, the other one will be inconsequential. It was mainly just because now that I got you know the Spectre, Alliance Corsair. I'm just really the curious to know really if. Uh, I can get different weapons. Collect most of these places. 
Start the mode, you work our way out. 340 people live on Mercury. Madness. Probe away. Probe launched. The main downside is that there isn't a fueling station in this cluster of planets, so I won't be able to buy more probes for right now without going to a completely different place. Probe away. launched. Probe away. Lots of iridium. It's like I'm playing Borderlands. Probe away. Launching probe. Probe away. Uh, Venus. Here, somewhere. Venus is this one. Okay. That blew my mind. I was like, what? <laughs> this is going over. Uh, 800 people live here. Probe away. Launched. Apart from launched. Element Zero, obviously. I swear I had all of these over a hundred thousand at one point. <laughs> and now, uh, now look at this. Away. The big spikes there, huh? Come on. Probe away. Probe away. Probe away. 
surface, quarter of a million people on space stations. Day length is now short. Nobody lives on Mars, how weird. People live on fucking Mercury and Venus, but no one lives on Mars. Seventeen thousand people live on Probe away. Probe launched. I realize this is the boring part of the stream, but I really need these resources, so <laughs> strap in. Oh no, I've only got one probe left. Better make it good. Flat. Launched. The best. Puga doesn't even get given an orbit. Even going between galaxies is quicker than going between two spots on the same place. How nuts is that? Ah, I knew I missed a planet. It was Jupiter. Probe away. Probe. How many people live on Jupiter? Just on the moon, it's 9,100. Jupiter's deep gravity well and lethal radiation have kept its moons from being significantly exploited. The largest outpost is Binary Helix Corporation's nautical, Nautilus facility attached to the underside of Europa's ice sheet. Probe. Even more. Probe 
probe launched. somewhere. Launching probe. Launching probe. Probe away. Okay. Well, she's got your anus, Neptune, and Pluto to go. Three hundred and seventy-one thousand people live there. Completed, but yeah, they don't get that fun message, so let's just. Really, Commander? Really, Commander? Just probing Uranus. Alright. Neptune. Oops. Only 70 people live here. launched. Imagine being one of 70 people that inhabits an entire probe. planet. That doesn't probe really sustain away. your life either. <laughs> Lots of fun though. Do I live on Neptune? The yeah, actual decent internet. Uplift. Probe launched. Launching probe. Launching probe. Somewhere. There it is. Probe away. And the nine probes for Pluto. More people live here. Nine thousand three hundred. I guess it is really still mass relay. Let's get a lot of traffic coming through this planet. Pluto's a planet. Probes. Probe away. Launching probe. Two left. 
probe launched. Still one left. really pixelated right there. Come on, I want to make this last one count. Launching probe. Away. I really need that. Probe away. Launching probe. Launching probe. Probe away. find a more efficient way of tracking these planets, like going around them uh, to get resources. This would be an easier way than me just like sporadically moving the uh, cursor around. That would be the best. Probe launched. Probe away. Well, that seems to be going quite well so far. Launching probe. Probe launched. Come on, I need the platinum. Thank you. Launching probe. Probe launched. Still 
launching probe. Probe launched. Probe. It'd be nice if there was like an upgrade for just the pointed, but where Probe the launched. masses were. Probe like away. It directs me directly to here. That'd be nice. Launching probe. Launching probe. I need more probes. a planet out of my head now and I only have myself to blame. <laughs> Probe launched. Probe launched. Probe away. Launching probe. Launching probe. Launching probe. Launching probe. Probe away. God. Launching probe. Resources on this planet just do not want to go down. So many. Do you think these are the same every time? Like if I was to start a new game, I'd put probe. the f probes in the exact same places, they would give me the exact same results. Something I never thought of. Probe away. Launching probe. I haven't found any element zero in a long time. Probe away. Launching probe. Launched. 
Launching probe. Deposit Launching relatively probe. large. Probe launched. Probe launched. Launching probe. Probe launched. Launching probe. Probe. Is there a landmass on this planet? So I'm intrigued where people live. Probe away. Launching probe. Launched. I think this little rock has so much good stuff on it. Launching 
launching probe. Probe away. Away. Weird for two to be that close together. Come on, let's give up good resources. You got a bit of spikes on them. Probe away. Probe away. Where is the last one? <laughs> There's gotta be more. There's gotta be one more. There it is. This is what I hate about this fucking probing of planets. Wait, what was the temperature there? 108 degrees Celsius. Wait. There's an entire planet here that I didn't see. It doesn't have a capital, but it has a big port. Launching probe. Of course, I'd be rich and stuff when I'm about to run out of probes. Launching probe. Launching probe. Probe away. Last time I'm going to do this in three probes. Probe launched. Away. <sighs> Why you can't just buy probes at every place? launched.
launching the probe. Launching the probe. Launched. Still think there's going to be one more big spike somewhere. Come on, this is the last planet. Be nice. Probe launched. Probe launched. Can't find this last spike. Okay, that hangar was it. All right, let's go help Zaid. I'm gonna take more in, just for his incinerate stuff. Good gun on, I guess. Oh, my orange butt circles are gone. Tapping into Blue Sun's communications. Stay tight and look out for ambushes. My phone's still going nuts. Right. It's nice then to use the black hole gun. Push ahead. I'm pushing. Command to Bravo. Take a position. Likely these people are not runaways. That monkey was chasing something. Report to base. Armed intruders incoming at the southern checkpoint. <laughs> This gun's pretty good. Okay, I finally have a gun that is uh, usable. Reinforcements <laughs> incoming. We got so, your backs. This is quite right. Get out now. Wish I were standing down with. Okay. 
threw me on my face. Sounds like he hasn't changed. I get the feeling you have a past with this, Vito. I knew he was a sadistic bastard back when we started the Blue Suns. The Suns only got meaner after he staged his little coup 20 years ago. So, yeah, we have a past. Why didn't anyone tell me you founded the Blue Suns? Because it's not common knowledge. Vito wiped me out of the records. He ran the books, I led the men. It worked real well for a while. Then Vito decided to start hiring Batarians. Cheaper labor, he said. Goddamn terrorists, I said. 20 years is a long time to hold a grudge. A grudge? Vito turned my men against me. He paid six of them to restrain me while he put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. For 20 years, I've seen that bastard every time I closed my eyes, every time I sighted down on a target. Every time I heard a gunshot, don't you call that a goddamn grudge? You survived a gunshot to the head? Yeah. And you survived your ship getting disintegrated. A stubborn enough person can survive just about anything. Rage is a hell of an anesthetic. We better get moving. Bring it on, you son of a bitch! Let's fuck him up! Squad Charlie, Delta, that's at the gatehouse! Big door. Zaid Masani, you finally tracked me down. Vito. Don't be stupid, Zaid. I have a whole company of bloodthirsty bastards behind me, ready to kill or be killed on my command. Actually, take your shot. Give my men a reason to put you down like the mad dog you are again. Sighted old friend. Burn you, son of a bitch. You just signed your death warrant, Masani. What the hell are you doing? Who helps me? Opening the gate. We don't sacrifice lives for the sake of the mission. There's always a better way. Like what? Wandering out in the jungle for hours looking for another way in. You want to waste time out here? Go ahead. I'm going to kill Vito. You're endangering lives and the mission for your own selfish revenge. You really want to do this, Shepard? I ought to knock you the hell out. Thanks to you, we have a burning refinery to save. Let these people burn. Vito dies, whatever the cost. Kill them. Sit down. I like this gun. 
It's nice to finally have a proper, like, automatic weapon. Place is on fire. Help! We're trapped! We can't get to the gas valves to shut them off! The whole place is gonna blow! No time. Vito's probably halfway to the shuttle docks by now. You're willing to watch these people die? Damn right I am. We stop to help these people and Vito gets away. And if he gets away, I'm blaming you. Uh... <laughs> We're here to free these people. We're going in. This was a mistake. If we're gonna do this, we'd better get to it. What is my paragon now? I'm not even the second bomb done. Crazy. Hey. Coming, don't worry. Jesus Christ. As long as I don't get set on fire before then. Welcome, be free! This might be useful. Last on the fire, the following scrubber must now use it. Me? I can use it. Oh, it must be a heavy weapon then. Yep, that's uh Firestorm suppresses the regenerative capabilities of Vorcher and Krogan, making its armor, shields and bionic hands. I mean heavy weapon. It's a flamethrower.
Christ, he's eating me. I believe in you, boys. This is like a full out boat. So many of them, they just keep coming. are down. Oh, uh, all that just because I wanted to destroy its armor with incinerate. And then who knows how far that I'm going to go now. 
definitely need to start this room. The cover system in this game is absolute dog shit, so... I'm always bound to lose. haven't even started moving yet. Oh, well, there goes one of them. Enemies inbound. I'm such a fucking moron. Oh. That have killed like 28 people again. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, just, uh, <laughs> I thought we were past this game. I thought we were past killing me all the fucking time.
so sick of dying over and over. <laughs> Out the fucking way. Incineration tech. Nasty sounds now and then. There's like nothing to it.
at this point, right? Various industrial bits. I assume that's the way out. Spawn room. Same again. You just cost me 20 years of my life! I'm not sure I need a man like you on my ship. If you didn't need me, Cerberus wouldn't have paid my fee. I'll do what I was paid to do. Nothing more, nothing less. Now stop screwing around. Let's go. You put your own goals ahead of the mission. That is not the way this works. I've survived this long watching my own back. No time to worry about anyone else. Part of a team now, Zaid. There's no way we can do this unless we're all working together. You, you have a point. I'm not done with Vito, but I can put that behind me long enough to get your mission done. Let's get the hell out of here. Both the DLC characters now then. Eldfell Ashland Refinery on Zoya has been liberated, though the company will have to spend millions to rebuild. Although Vido, uh, Vido Santiago escaped, Zaid has accepted Shepard's command and appears focused on the mission. He got the Inferno Grenade, he's got a new outfit, he's got that heavy weapon, upgrade, credits, it's got a lot of credits too, 54,000, some palladium. Nice. 
messages for you, Commander. None at all, huh? Morden's psych profile warned of hyper behavior, but he is like a hamster on coffee. He's going to be a very productive member of the team. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. It's always nice chatting with you. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Uh, some other time. Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Commander, can I help you? I'm with more interested in just already. I'm not big on forcing these. We'll talk later. Commander. Okay. The machine has nothing. I really need element zero. <laughs> Open that box up soon. <laughs> Still the lowest of my resource well, besides that one zero. Launching probe. Launching probe. Launching probe. Launching probe. Pro. It's been on port for so long. There's got to be one big deposit somewhere. There it is. <laughs> Probe away. Duplete. Go. 
God, I hate this so much. Launching probe. Eleven thousand people living on this planet. Launched. Launching probe. Probe away. Probe launched. Launching probe. Probe launched. Probe away. That's a big one. Four probes left. Gonna finish this planet. Probe away. Probe away. Probe away. No, I cannot. Is the answer to that? Launching probe. Launching probe. Launching probe. Probe away. How can such a tiny rock again have so much stuff on it? Probe launched. Probe launched. Launching probe. Probe launched. Launching probe.
Probe launched. Launching probe. The luck is those two. <laughs> Got them at the same time. That accident. Away. I have found something. Anomaly detected. Scans have located the Hammerhead exploration vehicle and also show active data storage sites that may contain information as to the whereabouts of Doctors Case and Alloy. They don't mean to land, but oh well. shot isn't the most helpful of anything. Same with cryoblast, so might just save it again. Yeah, save one. Right. Yes. So I don't think the ship is safe. We run into the gap far too often. I'm going to stay at the next site with Dr. Alloy. I think we'll be safer there. I don't remember this at all. Caution, guided missile system active. Acquired. Jesus Christ. Would you look at that? I honestly don't remember this at all.
how you were supposed to get that one over there. I have this in Mass Effect 1 more than anything. Why wasn't this the maker? This thing is insane. Keeping the hammerhead this is the best day of my life. It's like 15 grand as well. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Project Firewalker, good work on recovering the hammerhead in one piece, Commander. It'll prove useful. Also, the data you recovered from the MSV Rosalie's emergency beacon contains sufficient intel on a few planets that Dr. Case and Dr. Alloy investigated. Edie has added the locations to a galaxy map. We hope that one of them leads you to the Protean site. Despite Dr. Case's obvious instability, he's proven to be a brilliant and dedicated scientist. If you salvage more of his logs or journals, it would be great. It would greatly help our efforts. We still don't know how the Geth are tracing Dr. Case, so be careful. Or tracking. Work the same. Alright, uh, I need to actually, like, scan this planet for its resources. Wasn't that one, it was this one. Oh Christ, I'm about to run out of probes again. Five left and this is still a rich planet apparently. Probe 
away. Oof. Okay. Probes. Let's go see if I can uh, finish Pluto quick. Gonna have to decide where else to go after that. Oh my god, look how many things there are. Project Overlord will be over here as well. Not so much. Right. <laughs> Trying to get all the DLC out of the way more than anything. Alright, Pluto. Probe. Okay, that's all I needed. Okay, I feel like we should go here. We got a Firewalker and, a pro and we got the DLC Project Overlord. We're gonna need some fuel. We're gonna need some probes. Tell you what, this is where we'll stop. Like, I'll, uh, I'll try my hardest to do all the planets and stuff before the next stream because uh, it just takes so long trying to find everything. But uh, we made some progress. We got some new squad members, and uh, I need one more thing, don't I? And uh, we got a new vehicle. <laughs> Didn't die almost as much this time, but it still died a fair amount. But uh, we made some good progress, definitely. At least I think so. I, I still don't really have a way of <sighs> gauging it, I guess. But hey ho. Anyway, right, that's all for today. Probably be back Sunday. Do some more. I uh, will try. I've just realised I haven't saved it. I will uh, try and do the planets before I come back. But we'll see how it goes. But until then, have a good weekend. And I'll see you then. <laughs> Bye.